Hello everyone. I am thrilled to see your bright faces and eager minds here today. So let's kickstart our day with enthusiasm and curiosity. Open up your English grammar books, step up English grammar and composition. Let's start with chapter 14, simple past tense. Children, a verb indicates the time of an action, event or condition by changing its form. The tense of a verb shows the time of an action. Tense means time. The three tense forms of verbs in English are present tense, past tense and future tense. The simple past tense is used to talk about actions that happened at a specific time in the past. For example, Garima came back last Friday. I saw her in the street. Children, it means a verb which refers to the past time is said to be in the past tense. For example, I wrote, I studied. It means what has already happened. Children, you can break it down into four sections. So here comes in front of you structure of the simple past tense. Basically, the formation is subject plus second form of verb plus objective any. But we can break it down into four sections. Number one, affirmative form. Number two, negative form. Number third, yes, no question form. And number four, WH question form. Now, let me explain. The affirmative form of the simple past tense is used to talk about actions that happened and were completed in the past. The structure of the affirmative form is as follows. Subject plus past tense of the verb plus object, if any. For example, I played soccer yesterday. She ate an apple for breakfast. And next one is negative form. The negative form of the simple past tense is used to talk about actions that didn't happen in the past. The structure of the negative form is as follows. Subject plus didn't plus base form of verb plus object if any. For example, I didn't watch TV last night. They didn't go to the party. Third one is yes no question form. The yes, no question form of the simple past tense is used to ask questions that can be answered with a simple yes or no. The structure of the yes, no question form is as follows. Did plus subject plus base form of the verb plus object if any. For example, did you finish your homework? Did he play the piano? And last one is WH question form. The WS, the, the WH question form of the simple past tense is used to ask questions that require more detailed information. The structure of the WH question form is as follows in front of you. WH word plus did plus subject plus base form of the verb or object if any. For example, what did you eat for lunch? Where did they go on vacation? Here are the uses of the simple past tense. Number one is for completed actions. To describe an action that was completed in the past. The simple past tense is commonly used to talk about actions that started and finished in the past. These actions are no longer happening. For example, it's already written, Mr. Ghosh visited Berlin last week. I watched a comedy movie yesterday. Or other examples are also there. She wrote a letter yesterday. They played soccer last weekend. Then sequence of events. The simple past tense is used to describe a sequence of events that occurred in the past. For example, first I woke up. Then I brushed my teeth and had breakfast. The movie started and everyone took their seats. Then to express past habits. The simple past tense can be used to talk about past habits or repeated actions. These actions happened regularly in the past but may not be happening anymore. For example, every day she walked to school. They always played board games on Friday nights. I played the piano 
in my childhood. I woke up early in my school days. Past facts also. The simple past tense is used to state facts or general truths about, about the past. For example, Mozart composed many symphonies. The Titanic sank in 1912. And then to narrate the to narrate a story. The simple past tense is commonly used in storytelling to describe events and actions that took place in the past. For example, once upon a time, there lived a brave knight. The princess kissed the frog and it turned into a prince. So here we are going to explore the three forms of verbs. Verbs are action words that tell us what someone or something is doing. Verbs can have different forms depending on the tense or the action being described. We will learn about the base form, the past tense form and the past participle form. Firstly, children, base form. The base form of a verb is the most basic form. It's like the verb in its dictionary form. We often use the base form with the word to in front of it, like to run, to eat, or to dance. It's the form we use when talking about something happening in general. Now, past tense form. The past tense form of a verb is used to talk about actions that have already happened in the past. Regular verbs form their past tense by adding ed to the base form, like walked, jumped or played. We are inserting ed after this basic verb. But remember, some verbs have irregular past tense forms like went, ate, ran. Now past participle form. The past participle form of a verb is used in perfect tenses or passive voice constructions. Regular verb forms form their past participle by adding ed to the base form just like the past tense. For example, written, broken or seen. But again, irregular verbs have different past participle forms. So here you have seen so many uh, three forms of verb. So in the first table, begin is the base verb, began is past simple and begun. It's the past participle form of the verb. Begin, began, begun. Choose, chose, chosen, lay, late, late, and so on. Children, today in this slide, we learned about the three forms of verb. The base form, the past tense form, and the past participle form. Remember, the base form is the basic form of the verb. The past tense form is used to talk about past actions, and the past participle form is used in perfect tenses or passive voice constructions. Keep practicing, children, and using these forms to become more conf confident in your English language skills. So here, children, in front of you, there is one practice assignment related to simple past tense. We are filling the blanks. You have to fill in the blanks using the words given in the bracket to form correct past tense. So all the seven blanks you have to do with this. Great job, everyone. Students, believe in your abilities because each of you has the potential to achieve incredible things. Have a good day.